the Final Fantasy VII Remake's Honeybee in section is very different from the original game, and is unquestionably more toned down in places. However, while this could be a result of the developer's own accord, the developers have spoken about how they intended for one section to be more risque, but they had to remove this as it would have led to a higher age rating. In the game is a big dance show at the Honeybee Inn. Cloud takes part in the show as part of the side quest to acquire a dress to disguise himself as a woman, and the show was motion captured by professional dancers that create burlesque shows and choreography. However, while the final version is very PG, the developers went through multiple recordings and corrections when creating it. Toriyama, the game's co-director, speaks about this, saying, Initially, for example, there was a pole dancing scene included, which meant that filming began on an elaborate set. We decided to take that part out due to the impact on the rating. And so the developers wanted to include pole dancing, which would have been quite a big difference, and they had already recorded pole dancing scenes before having to change it. As for the game's rating, the final version was rated teen in North America, ages 15 plus in Japan, and 16 plus in Europe. This is not the first time that the Honeybee Inn was going to be more risque initially. The original PlayStation version was packed full of much more content, and a lot of this is still contained in the game's files. You can find links to a video playlist, as well as a page from the livestream.net in the description that give a detailed account of these missing scenes. The Final Fantasy VII Ultimania Omega, a Japanese official book for the game, speaks about this, and the livestream.net has provided this translation. What I remember is the Honeybee Inn. Toriyama, the director of Final Fantasy X-2, was in charge of the Honeybee Inn's events, but at first what took place there was more extreme, and everyone was saying, that's going too far. A lot of the cut content is more explicit in nature, and this was the work of Toriyama, who was left alone to work on this section of the game. However, when the rest of the team then met up to discuss how the game was going, they saw Toriyama's section and thought it went too far in places. And so, in this case, the decision to cut content was not due to ratings. As always, let us know your thoughts in the comments below, and until next time, thank you for watching.